When we talk about the, the differences between men and women, mm -hmm. what exactly are those differences? There are sex differences in utero. What does at, that mean? So the sex differences when the baby's developing. So we look at stress and the mom under stress. We see that there's a higher incidence of a miscarriage if it's developing boy fetus than a girl fetus. And it has to do with XX versus XY. Then after birth, we see that there's relatively little sex difference that is apparent until the onset of puberty. But we see that there's a sex difference in what we call muscle morphology. So that means that men are born with more fast twitch fibers. So they have more anaerobic capacity as they get older. They have more ability to produce power. We see that girls are born with more endurance type fibers. So this means they have more mitochondria for oxygen consumption and oxidative stress and being able to go long and slow. Then when we get to the onset of puberty, we see an expansion of these sex differences with the exposure of the sex hormones. So what we're seeing is now the boys are getting leaner, faster, more more aggressive, but girls' bodies completely change. Their hips widen because being XX, they have to then accommodate for getting pregnant and eventually having a baby from a biological standpoint. Hips widen, shoulders widen. This changes the angle of the knee to the hip. So for anyone listening, there's an image which I'll put on the screen and it's called the Q angle. So when we're looking at girls whose bodies are changing, we see that by the age of 14, girls who previously were sporty, over 60% of them drop out of sport because their bodies are changing. So they don't feel comfortable running or swimming or jumping or landing. Because they have a new Q angle, they become quad dominant. Their center of gravity is different. Their shoulders are wider. So they don't feel comfortable running because their whole running mechanics change. 